and the first country to create fusion over this long period of time is China, then this is changing. And I think the world is going to begin to see that China truly is. Your friendly neighborhood Guaiguaran. Today I want to talk to you about China as a scientific and technological powerhouse. Just a couple of days ago, Chinese scientists achieved fusion for 20 seconds. You may have heard of a tokamak. This is a kind of nuclear reactor where atoms are literally fused together to make larger atoms. Most energy today that comes from a nuclear reactor is in the form of fission where atoms are broken apart and energy is released. But much, much more energy is released by fusing subatomic particles together and making larger atoms. This is the same process that happens on the sun. So essentially, Chinese scientists created a very tiny sun in a reactor in China. No country in the world has achieved fusion for 20 seconds. I heard that some Chinese scientists said the next step is to make it last a week, but it has been decades in the making to get to this point. Literally decades of scientists in France and in Canada in Australia, the United States, China, and other more advanced countries have been working on trying to produce fusion for the purpose of powering everything. The kind of energy that Chinese scientists were able to unleash with a 120 million degree Celsius reaction for 20 seconds was the kind of energy that would do with all other energy sources. We wouldn't need solar panels, we wouldn't need gas, we wouldn't need coal. The human race, all of us, would be able to survive with just half a dozen or a dozen fusion nuclear reactors from around the world. So a lot of you know Sheldon. He's a, he studies quantum physics. He's a theoretical physicist. And essentially, this is theoretical physics come true. Scientists all over the world, as I've already mentioned, have been working on this for decades. There are tokamaks, fusion reactors, all over the world. And the best, literally, the best and the brightest, the most capable mathematicians and scientists on this earth have been working on this one thing more than anything. I would say the absolute genius minds of our world are trying to make fusion a reality. And it looks like, just like China was able to create the fastest supercomputer, China controls some of the best AI in the world, now China has created the longest fusion reaction in the history of the world. The Russians are the ones who came up with this idea of a tokamak. And a tokamak is essentially an empty donut. It's the shape of a donut, but it's empty. And the idea is to put in a certain kind of matter into a loop that's maintained and held in the air independently by magnets. I should say held in space because it's in a vacuum. It means there's no air inside of this donut and inside will be a ribbon or a ring of fusion reactions occurring very slowly so as not to expend too much fuel. The great thing about fusion is it produces, according to the best scientific minds, no waste. There's no waste from this whatsoever. There's no pollution in these reactions. There's just heat and energy. If Chinese scientists have been able to produce this kind of reaction in a tokamak or another similar reaction chamber, then we are really close to not needing oil, to not needing coal, to solving the world's energy problems, which some people, including Elon Musk, say might be the world's greatest problem. Wars might even be avoided because we won't have to fight over resources that make energy. It's really interesting. A lot of people around the world, including the people from where I'm from, America, consider American science to be cutting edge. But it's really interesting if the fastest supercomputer in the world is in China, and the first country to create fusion over this long period of time is China, then this is changing. And I think the world is going to begin to see that China truly is a scientific and technological powerhouse. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.